What's up everyone? I'm going to show you how to play Walking the Dog by Errol Smith. You play this on a four string or a three string and I'll show you the difference. Um, we are tuned to an open G. Low string is going to be a G. Next string will be a D. Next string is another G. Upper string is going to be a B. All right, we get into the intro. What we're going to do here is just a regular uh, three string E chord. Place our index finger on the first fret on the upper G string. Middle finger on the second fret on the D string. Pinky or ring finger on the uh, fourth on the fourth fret on the low G string. Strike all three together as a chord. And we're going to play this little uh, D chord right here. A little two note chord. We're going to hold down on the second fret, the upper G string. And we're going to uh, strike at the same time the open D string. A little two note D chord. And the difference in the uh, beginning is the only difference in the song if you want to use a four string. And that, uh, I generally play an E chord like this. Place your index finger on the 2nd fret on the D string. Ring finger on the 4th fret on the upper G string. Pinky on the 5th fret on the B string. It's an E chord. And um, so you can do the beginning like that and then hit this D chord. Just like the little 2 note D chord. Just fret on the 3rd uh, fret on the B string at the same time makes it sound a little more full okay the beginning we're just going to take that E chord we're going to hit it twice like this and then we're going to hit it twice again now we're going to hit it once and then hit that D chord kind of sound like this go right back to the two times on the E chord now right here we're going to hit the E once hit the D again and then hit the E twice again now we're going to hit the E just once. And when you're listening to the song, you'll hear the uh, cymbals build up. And then we're going to come up here on the uh, ninth fret on the low G string to this E note. And we're just going to uh, slide down into that E chord. Hit that E chord twice. Uh, the beginning will sound kind of like this. Now on the third one, we hit the D. We go back to the E. Now this time in the middle of the second one, we're going to uh, hit the D. And then two of the E. And then one E. Just let it ring out come up and slide okay so we're gonna start off the uh, verse riff but the first two is going to be a little different okay we're gonna come back down and strike that E two times now we're gonna go right here to the fourth fret on the low G string strike that once we're gonna come up to the fifth fret on the uh, D string, strike that once. Come down to the second fret on the D string, strike that once. 
strike the D string open once. Come back down to the low G string on the fourth fret, strike that once. So slowly it'll sound like this. I'm going to do that three times. Then we're going to come up to the uh, fifth fret on the D string. Strike that two times really quickly. I'm going to walk it down to the fourth fret on the D string. Strike that two times. On the third fret on the D string. Strike that two times. And on the uh, second fret on the D string. Strike that two times. And then we're going to strike the D string open two times. And come back down on the low G string on the fourth fret and strike that once. Like this. You can pick it twice. Or I like to mute the first one. And what that's going to sound like is we do the first three of the and you go right back into the three times and then one more <coughs> Now, um, we only do that two times. Now we're going to go back to the E, strike that twice, do that same. play that six times and we're going to end on a single E note. So you're basically, uh, yeah, six times. There's a little variation you can play around uh, when you're, and as always with my lessons, you can play along with the actual song. You'll be in tune with it. And uh, when you're listening, they do a couple little pull offs. And I'm going to show those to you right now if you want to add those in. You don't have to, you can just. Uh, but every second and fourth and sixth one, they will. Uh, and now on the sixth one, they do this. I should have an E note there, but there is not one there. So you'll pull it off to the open G. And then on that E. Now right here we go into the chorus. We're going to uh, play this little two note A chord right here. We're going to hold down uh, on the D string on the second fret and second fret on the low G string. Just uh, play those both together as a chord. And now we're going to take our ring finger and come up to the uh, fourth fret on the D string. And then we're going to take our pinky, come up to the fifth fret. And we're still holding down the uh, second fret on the low G string on all these. Walk it back down to the fourth fret. Back to the A, and then once back to the uh, fourth fret. Like this. We're going to do that 
one time. Now we're going to come up here uh, to this D. I'm, I'm sorry, to this E chord. We're going to play the same thing, exactly how we play it down here. Up to the uh, ninth fret. Ninth to the eleventh, to the twelfth, back to the eleventh, back to the ninth, and then back to the eleventh. Now we're going to come down to this B on the fourth fret. It's playing the same two little two note chord. And we're just going to uh, come up to the uh, sixth fret with our ring finger or pinky, either one. And we're going to play this a little more quickly, like this. And then we're going to come back down to this A. So all of that together into that chorus is like this. Just like that. Uh, and when you're listening to the song, uh, Brad Whitford, the, one of the guitar players, uh, he starts raking the uh, strings like this real quickly. And then they go back up to this uh, E note and right back into the uh, second verse. And it's exactly as the first verse. You go six times and you end on another E. And go right back into... And they go back into that string raking thing. Except this time they do it four times. And they slide from that E again. And right here we're going to play a variation of an E chord. We're going to uh, take our index finger on the second fret on the D string. We're going to take our pinky on the uh, fourth fret on the upper G string. Strike both of those together as a chord. That's an actual E chord. We're going to take our ring finger on the uh, fourth fret on the low G string and strike all three of those together as an E chord. And the reason for this, we're going to uh, strike that tw just like all the others. It always starts with a strike of two on that uh, E. So we're going to strike that twice. Now we're going to do a variation of this little. What we're going to do is strike on the fourth fret on the low G string. We're going to strike on the uh, fifth fret. And we're going to anchor down here on the second fret with our index finger. We're going to strike up on the fifth fret on the D string. We're going to come down on the fourth fret on the D string, strike that with our ring finger. And we're going to, as we strike that, we're going to pull it off down to the uh, to the uh, E note on the uh, second fret on the D string. And then we're going to pull that one off to the open D string. So kind of slowly like this. And we're going to strike on the... Uh, fourth fret on the low G string once. I actually can't hardly do this when I'm trying to play it slow, but when I'm playing it at speed, it's it, it, it's good. So, um, But we're going to strike that twice. Strike it twice again. We'll do that 
eight times. So I always remember to uh, strike that E right there two times. Two times. Eight times. Now we're going to go to that a same variation of that uh, in this A right here. We're going to strike this A, the same two little two note A chord we used earlier. On the second fret, hold down the uh, D string on the second fret and the low G string on the second fret together. Strike it twice, just like that E. So we're going to come to the second fret on this uh, D string, this E note. Strike that once. We're going to come up to the uh, fifth fret on the upper G string. Strike that once. Come to the 4th fret on the upper G string and pull off down to the 2nd uh, fret on the G string. Then we're going to come to the 5th uh, fret on the D string, strike that once, and then strike on the, uh, the uh, D string on the 2nd fret once. So slowly. Just like that. We're only going to do that twice in that A position. Then we're going to come to this A chord again, a little two note A chord, and quickly slide up to the uh, fourth fret. Right there. And then we're going to do it like this. And then just let it trail off, just slide it down, let it trail off. So yeah, um, I'm not going to play the entire 8 of the E. I'm just going to do it like twice and then I'll go into the A part twice. But when you're playing along with the song, the, uh, the E part will be done 8 times. So... <laughs> slide from this E note up here into the third verse and he goes six times just like the other two verses um, and what and it's the same I'm not even going to go over that again but this time when it goes into the kills on the E we're going to go into the the chorus Except right here, we want to do it twice. And then go up to the E. Now right here, instead of a second time, we're just going to walk it up. Kind of stretch your... Stay on the uh, ninth fret with your index finger on the low G string. Kind of stretch up to the uh, 13th fret. Hit it one more time. And then you can just come up here. Uh, but you want to walk it up actually to the uh, 15th fret. And uh, my fingers aren't long enough to do that. And it's kind of more simple on an actual standard tune electric six string guitar. But um, it's going to be like... You just have to fit those last ones in. If your fingers are that long, then just stay rooted down here on the uh, ninth fret on the low G string. But I can't. So I just finished those uh, from the 11th, 14th to the 12th and the 14th. Uh, 12th and 15th, I'm sorry. So again, coming out of that same last verse. You'll just do two of the A. And then we'll go right back down.
down to that B. Now right here, we're going to go back into one of these. Just like in the verse. And right here, we're going to walk this down on the D string. We'll go up to the 5th fret. Walk it down to the 4th fret on the D string. Walk it down to the 2nd uh, fret on the D string. Hit the D string open once. And now we're going to go down to the low G string and walk up from the 1st fret to the 2nd fret to the 3rd fret and then we're going to strike up on the 4th uh, fret this chord right here same two little two note chord we've been using everywhere and then we're going to go back down to and then one more single E chord so uh, yeah I'm gonna play that a little go through it where it's how it should be but uh, coming out of that the end of the song and um actually right there what I like to do when I'm doing the I like to hit the two little two note chords like we've been playing everywhere I, I really don't like walking it up but you can with just uh, the single notes I like that but you can do that however you want and hope y'all enjoyed this uh, lesson, and I'll get back with another one as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.